Good morning and welcome to Chittagong, the second city of Bangladesh, the commercial city, the largest port city in the entire country. And today we are out bright and early to explore as much as humanly possible. I feel like I always say that, we're gonna see as much as humanly possible, but we really are. We're actually meeting up with a local friend named Faisal and he is gonna show us around some of the best spots in the city. We're currently waiting for him now before we jump on a local bus and join Faisal's tour of Chittagong. A few of the things that we want to do in and around Chittagong would actually not be possible without a local. So meeting Faisal is going to be so helpful. Essential. Us. Essential. Patrick. Oh. <laughs> day's rest in between exploring Chittagong after travelling down from Cox Bazaar. So this really is our first impressions of the city and we've already travelled out of the city centre to meet Faisal. So we're a little bit of a spectacle right now because we are not in the commercial hub, the business hub. We're in the local hub. Everyone's still so friendly. How are you? Came on at you. Thank you. You good? Hi, yes. Very good. Thank you. Hi, hold on. Yeah. I'm from England. England, England. Are you from Chittagong? No. Very, very good city, Balo City. Yeah. Today we explore all of Chittagong. Chittagong. We explore, we go to, you know, shipyard? Yes. To see the ships? Yes. It's good? Thank you, my friend. What is your name? Thank you. Your name? Mr. Mr. Salam Ah, Salam My name is Matt. Next. Matt, nice to meet you all. Everyone in Chittagong, very friendly. Thank you. Very fellow. I love your beard. I love it, thank you. It's very nice. I want to, if I grow a beard one day, I want to have orange beard. Yes, it's a, in England also. Yes, yes, yes. To show my family in England the orange beards. It's very nice. I think the reason is that when you get a little bit older in Bangladesh, they'll actually dye their hair orange because they're not allowed to dye it black because of the religion. I think I'm correct. We're making friends. <laughs> Honestly, everybody's so intrigued as to why we're here. Like Matt said, this isn't the commercial area at all. So down us two in our Bangladesh t-shirts, just standing on the side of the road, everyone's probably like, just what have are blank you doing? Faces. Yeah, just pure blank faces. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We're so excited. Okay, should we go? Yeah, okay. This way? We didn't know where we were going, Faisal. We were yeah. stuck. Yeah, we got lost. We were stuck on the craziest corner <laughs> in Chittagong. But um, like Molly said, Faisal is going to be taking us around today, showing us a few of the local spots. The first one that we're heading to is rather infamous. Infamous? Infamous? How do you say it? Infamous in Chittagong, which is the ship breaking yard, which used to be sort of like a dark tourist spot. But nowadays it's become really hard to access, which is why Pfizer is going to try pretty much sneak us in. Oh, we're getting on? This one? Okay. Salam alaikum. I'm good, how are you? Came on, Acha? Balo, Balo, Balo. Oh, wow, welcome to the local bus. I love this. We sit here? Yeah, yeah. And how much does it cost? 40. 40? Oh, wow. Per person? Yeah. Great, for 30 minutes. Do you pay now or when you get off? Later. Later. Okay. okay. This Thank is you. what the locals travel in in Chittagong. So we've got a guy selling. What are you selling? All sorts of drinks. <laughs> it's good. It's good. No AC. We've got the windows open. There's people hitting the bus. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> I'm okay, thank you. Don't have bad. What's he selling? Limes, I think. He seems to have done pretty well. Limes? They limes? Yeah. What's good? Yeah, like, uh, green fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, so like a juice. It's like a juice. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> okay, 30 minutes later. Don't have bad. Thank you, my friend. Oh. Well, we have jumped off on the side of the road. And this is where 
a lot of the ship breaking yards are they go for miles and miles along the Chittagong coastline there's actually over a hundred of them now but we are trying to get to the biggest and most famous one but unfortunately for foreigners nowadays because it's had a lot of negative press it is closed so I think we're now trying to organize uh, Make sure I'm confused. We have to get confused. a rickshaw down because right now we're on the main road and obviously as Matt said it's on the coast. So yeah, we have to get a rickshaw to take us down. Um, I had been speaking to someone that owns a ship breaking yard but that, as Matt said it's, there's so many. Okay, um, we jump in. Yeah. How far is it from here? It's uh, 60. 60, uh, 60, 60 taka, but how far? For uh, like half a kilometer. Oh, half, half a kilometer. kilometer. Okay. okay. And is this the most famous one? The biggest yeah. one? What is the name of it? This name? Yeah, the shipbreaking, shipbreaking yard. yard. Shipbreaking yard name? Yeah. Uh, it's lots of shipbreaking yard in here. Oh, okay. Lots of, and it's world's largest, second largest shipbreaking yard. In wow. Okay. Hopefully we can get in. Do you think we'll get in? Yeah. Yeah? We will we'll, we'll bribe them. Okay, we are literally in the middle of nowhere right now. Salam alaikum. Kemanacha? Balo. Balo. We're in like a tiny little, I think it's a fishing village on the hunt to get a local boat to take us close to the shipbreaking yards. There's no way we can go and enter it now ourselves. It's completely been closed. Hello. Hey, gentlemen. Yeah. I'm good. How are you? How are you? Good. Hello, hello. Thank you. It's been completely closed uh, to foreigners because it's got so much bad press over the years. Oh, wow. We can see them in the distance. Yeah. Some of the whoa, okay. So, yeah, we got to figure out where we can get a ship from, get a fisherman to take us along. Oh, wow! We're actually just heading out on to the bridge here to get a better view of all of the ships. I don't know if you can actually see behind me, but not only are all these tiny boats heading out into this very rough water, but there is a whole I don't know what you'd call it like a pod area, like a whole area. I've, ne I've never seen so many huge cruise ships oil tankers massive. they just sat there and basically where the ships come to, to die. die okay so we have been told that the sea is a little bit too rough today to access the shipbreaking yards by boat you can see here actually this is where all the fishermen head out for the day but hardly any of them have because it's just so rough this morning but we are going to attempt this probably isn't going to work just turning up to the front gate of the ship breaking yards. Hello, assalamu alaikum, I'm good. Good, good. Hello, hello. Boy, thank you. Um, we're going to just try and turn up and go in. It's going to be difficult because, like I said, it had a lot of negative press because the ship breaking yards, essentially back in the 60s, they were heavily mechanicalized and it was done mainly in the UK, in the US, but in the 80s, a lot of these ship owners and ship companies realized they could ship them to South Asia, Southeast Asia and have them broken down and the parts sold on for a really small price for a really high profit. Actually the first ship in Bangladesh was a Greek one that washed up, crashed onto the shores and that was stripped down and a lot of the steel here from the ships actually make up 60%, 60% of the steel in all of Bangladesh. The problem a lot of the facilities do not hit international standards and there's a lot of forced labor a lot of child labor apparently so the less i talk about that the more likely it is that i'm going to get in He said, you cannot fill, but you can entry. The authorities giving permission that we can't take photo. Just to show for just, family. <laughs> we won't show people just the photo of the ship. I cannot. 
Actually, it's really good. Actually, it's not really good. Is he checking? Possible? He talk with authority. Oh. Been turned away from the first shipyard, but they have said if we walk along, there is a possibility that we can get in the next one. There's a really strong smell. Faisal says it's of maybe iron. And it hits the back of your throat. Just can you imagine like working on these ships for, like 12 hours a day, ripping them apart? Done a bird. We're in. We have made it. So we've actually got into a ship breaking yard that is closed at the minute. If there is any with any workers, they turn you away. The government have completely changed the rules, but this works for me. This is so, so cool. One of the most unique things in the world. So behind me, you can see two of the big ships. And I don't know how long it is that they come here for, but you can see that one's got the back end missing. So they just take the pieces off. You do have to be really careful because just to the left of us is another shipyard where the workers are. And as Matt said, when they have workers here, they do not want you to film at all. So these ships behind me will have come from all over the world. This one here, I think, actually Yantao. It seems as if it's come from China. And I presume a Chinese businessman paid a small fee for the ship to come here, or a much smaller fee for the ship to come here. And then it's broken down and all the parts are sold off, the steel and everything in between. Another reason they might be here is that a Bangladeshi businessman has bought them for cheap, breaks them down and sells them on. The good thing is you can actually see some of the workers and they are actually now wearing hard hats. So things I think are slowly improving, but it's so cool just to be like next to, look at the size of them. This is honestly insane. We were really lucky actually to get in that one, but you can see all the way along are these huge lorries. Salam alaikum. Kemanacha? Balo. And they've got all of the goods on top of the lorries. I don't know what they are. Different parts, bits of steel, different equipment from on each ship. And this will be taken, maybe melted down and sold on. I don't know what number this is. Hey, but but very, nice. <laughs> very nice. Everyone here is very <laughs> nice. Is very nice. Beautiful boat. Are you the boss? Salam alaikum. You're a very handsome man. <laughs> very beautiful man. With very beautiful boatyard. No, no, no. Oh, please, my friend. <laughs> we've been taking photos. We've been having laughs. We would love. We would love to see it to show our family. Our family is. Uh, my father is uh, captain. Navy, and he would love to see your beautiful boats. It would mean the world to me. I've travelled all the way from the UK to see the boats of Chittagong. Handsome. Yeah. Very handsome. Very you like? Handsome. Ma 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 huh? You like this? If no. he lets me in, then yeah. But why? But why? Because I want to go in. Because it's beautiful boats. I like boats. I am seaman. <laughs> Navy man. <laughs> Just five minutes. <laughs> I don't know if we're working our magic or not right now. England. Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Are you working your magic, Faisal? Faisal, do you think we can go? Oh no. I will try my best. We are trying. Bangladesh. We're wearing Bangladesh t-shirt, look. Bangladesh. I'm from Bangladesh. I'm citizen, not tourist. Any chance I can see the ships? <laughs> Just for two minutes. Just to take photo. To show my family. Possible? Oh. You want to say yes. You want to say yes, I can tell. In your heart, you want to say yes to me. Not possible. Is there any around here that we can see? And you? Maybe. I don't know. I don't think we're getting in. I won't be able to say that so much. It's a long name. My name is very short. Are we not getting in? Maybe they accidentally left the door unlocked and I walked in. What do we have to do to see a boat shipyard around here? We tried. Goodbye. Bye bye. We tried, but uh, we didn't succeed. We got in the one small one that was closed, um, but the rules have completely changed. They want to let you in, but the government rule says that you cannot enter the shipyards which is a real shame but it was cool to come here see all of the ships from the main road and now all of the signs that they've got up they make sure they point to you look safety first safety first yeah so i presume things are slowly improving here
ship breaking yard area and headed to a small little village and we have met up with Foizel's friend who's actually in here. Okay, we're gonna be talking to someone in the uh I'm like union secretary in this world to a lot of powerful men. Uh, he's, he's I didn't realise I probably shouldn't be filming. That. that was probably the worst time to start filming but we've got past and he said enjoy enjoy, enjoy the, trip. the shipyards but this shipyard is specifically famous for oil balls they have hello assalamu alaikum alhamdulillah this is the man who is going to get us access to the shipyard with these giant oil bill oil balls which i don't actually know what they are but they just keep saying to me oil ball when we get into the area we have to use the camera secretly so although we have permission to go in you just have to be careful with filming and as matt said like i literally had tried to google what oil balls were but i couldn't work it out i think once we see them we might be able to guess what the they were used for for the ships okay we've been told that we need to whisper now as we are right next can you hear that that's them dismantling ships Oh my gosh, he fell in. No, no, no. Maybe not. Maybe we don't go this way. I'm not sure we're be. Oh, yeah, okay. I do not want to fall in. Thank you. This is absolutely insane. We've made it round and have a look at that. That is the oil ball. So there used to be oil inside. Now there's nothing inside. It's just abandoned. Um, here comes some sort of security, but just have a look at that, oh my god, I can't believe it, and in the background you can actually see all of the ships that they're taking the parts away, and this, essentially you are just standing on all the stuff that they've taken off from the ship. Yeah, you can see it, this was obviously one of the old oil balls, and there's just ships and ships for miles on end going along, but that is one of the coolest things I have ever seen. Look at the sheer size of this thing. It's probably at least 30 meters high, wow, yeah. 20 meters round, and it was just full of oil. Yeah. Wow. But now empty. And what will they do with it? They will just break it down. Yeah, it, it, they are not break this. No. Are we looking to for that? No, but okay, so they will just break it down and scrap all of the metal. Yeah. Wow, it's huge. <laughs> it's like, I've never seen anything like this before. I don't even know where do they get them from? Uh -huh. Do you know where they get this from? No. Oh, I I have no idea, I don't, maybe from old oil rigs or something like that, but it's insane. <laughs> to be honest with you, getting access to the ships was cool, but these, even more unique. It looks like something from out of space. A I've never even heard of a blooming oil ball. No, neither, and I have no idea where they would have got these from. Like, I don't it can think only, you can I see presume a rig, some sort yeah. of oil rig. Like, and how are they going to take the pieces off from there? I have no idea. It's, it's crazy. You can see, and then further down behind, you can see the fresh ships that just come in. And this here is a ship that's been completely dismantled, taken to the side of the street, cut down, and sold. A couple of little, uh, let's say, bribes, and we are out of the shipyard area. That was so cool to see the oil ball. Had to be my highlight. I've never seen anything like that at all but we couldn't really spend too much time around the area and sort of make ourselves known that we are there because we would have just got kicked out by the security but we are now in a rickshaw and we are heading up the hill road it's very windy to head to Chittagong University not to look around the university but to get the train back into the city and like many of you have maybe seen Bangladesh the university there is a possibility just a possibility that we can get on the roof and we have made it to the Chittagong University train station this has got to be the most uniquely positioned hello uh, where are you from from England 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 yes what are you doing here exploring <laughs> <laughs> exploring exploring here yeah we're gonna jump on the train back to the city yeah We've the been next exploring, thing. yeah, the next train at 4 o'clock. 
We are gonna. You know the schedule as well. We do. Let's Four o'clock next one, right? Yep. We are going to try maybe sit on roof. No. <laughs> Few people actually got hurt. Yeah, I know. Couple. Yes. You guys know everything. We you saw the article the other day, so unfortunately, a few people did get hurt when the train hit a tree. Um, but we are hoping that because the train it goes, goes very slow, slow, right? Yeah, so it we'll is. Be okay. No. <laughs> There are branches yeah? that are very low now. Oh my god. It wasn't supposed to be this low. Oh my god. So it was safe, but yeah. now it's not. Okay. Really? You have to get in the train like us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll be regular. We'll, maybe. Maybe one, well, maybe one stop. 5.30. I think we can't wait that long because it gets dark very quickly. And we want to see it in the light. You're you know, safe it's beautiful. in the dark. Actually, the <laughs> campus is more lively in the dark. Oh, ah, really? we heard this. Yeah. We heard yeah, the campus is. is really good. That is true because uh, the people who are here, they're gonna leave after 5.30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and the last train is in 9.30. Oh, wow. And before that, the, everything is like music and all. Oh, that's like, really the, cool. That starts after it. As I was saying, this has got to be one of the most uniquely located universities in the world. You are up in the hills above Chittagong. <laughs> but everyone is now warning us not to get on the roof. It's so funny. Our new friend Danny has been telling us, no, you cannot do it, you cannot do it. But um, we have found out the train's coming up four. Um, we did do a little bit of research. So we have about half an hour. And as you can see, there are so many students that come here and get this train because they only run sort of every hour, every hour and a half. So this is their way back to the city. It's going to get busy. Right, and this so is the station. We're getting down? Yeah, I mean... We have time? Oh, as you do in Bangladesh all the students are sat down having their tea and I think uh, we're getting told off yeah they're really adamant for us not to get I mean they're adamant for us not to get on the roof of the train yet you can just cross the train tracks make it make sense here it comes I have no idea if we're gonna be able to do this on top of the train. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no one on it. Everyone is fighting. Everyone is fighting for seat. Oh my gosh. There's like a crazy fight. So there's nobody on the roof? Nobody at the moment. Nobody is going to go. No. Okay. Hmm. Yes. About what? The train. The train. The shuttle. Your, your beautiful shuttle. I want to go on the roof. They'll go crazy, right? Okay. Anyone who tells this, they're gonna go crazy. Bro. I know, I know. What's the plan of action? I don't know. No, nobody is getting on the roof, to be fair. We have to ask Faisal. What's the plan? Inside. Inside? Inside, yeah. Because nobody's on the top. You can, we can't, basically we can't be the only, like, four people sat on the roof. You need, you kind of need other people to be up on the top um, with you. Otherwise, you can get in trouble, basically. Okay, it doesn't look like... We're getting up on top. There's been a lot of issues recently, but this is still, oh my gosh, a unique experience as it is just cramped. Wow. This is busy. It is so, so in here, so basically you saw them throwing the bags in, so I think we have our seats reserved. Hello. Yeah, I'm kind of, hi. I'm actually gutted that we can't get up on the train. I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, I really wanted to get up. I don't know, maybe if someone gets up on another stop, we can run out and jump on. We'll have to see. It is hot. And we are off. We might not be on the roof, but this is still pretty cool. We're actually learning that there's basically a, let's say, a university political sort of issue with the roof. There was an incident last week where branches have fallen down really low. There were people on the roof and then they got hit by the branches and injured. So since then, nobody has been up because they are protesting the trains. They want more trains, they want better quality of trains. But this is cool. We take the hill roads back to Chittagong. <laughs> we made 
managed to get some seats, not quite the roof. So lucky we've got some seats, yeah, it's not quite what we were hoping for. The views are pretty impressive though, I wasn't expecting that on the way back to the city. It's so, so green and you do get a lovely fresh green. You feeling okay? Yeah. You good? Bello? Bello? Yeah, Bello. Everybody's feeling good. I'm sweating though. It's a very unique experience though, to go university train. We are now passing through lakes villages it's just us and the uni students I feel very stupid right now because they're incredibly clever but they're complaining because they want better trains they want air conditioning right that's what you want air conditioned trains new ones exactly it's it's, it's only fair you are the future of the country yes you are all of you yes you are all the future you are you are the brains of bangladesh you know I'm going to ruin the No! You will not ruin it. You will not ruin it. These are the future of Bangladesh. They need air conditioned trains. And we made it. One. Did we jump? Watch your step. Oh my gosh. We jump? Oh. Look for a train. oh yeah, check for a train. We've made it to what is the name of this station? Hi. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, alhamdulillah. Nice to meet you. I don't know what station. But that was good fun. Oh, you were on the roof. He's on the roof. Oh he's a beggar. I've now I've, I've attracted him. <laughs> but uh yeah, good fun. Just over an hour back into the city centre and the views were amazing, weren't they? Good views. Yeah. Very really good nice. views. You just don't expect it. So kind. Hello, Bangladesh. Everyone just shouts Bangladesh. Hello, Bangladesh at me. Um, yeah, the views are amazing. Rice fields, terraces, the whole way along. Just couldn't get on that seat there. That's not going to be in my head. That's not my task before we leave Bangladesh to sit on the roof of a train for even just one stop. Oh. And that is the old, 100 years old, old railway station that was built by the British. There's actually a new one now that's also functioning, which we'll be using in a few days' time to head further along on our journey across Bangladesh but it's getting late and before we go back to the hotel hello my friend salam alaikum which way ah, nice just to meet you my friend just walk. Take, care. take care all of this we will we will come again all the students are so friendly they were so angry that we didn't visit the campus they're like you need to see our campus you need to see our campus i don't know why absolutely every student was like why haven't you why are you not coming to the campus it seems to be a thing in bangladesh because like if it was abroad and there was a strange foreigner walking around the campus, you would probably be arrested, but in Bangladesh, everything goes. And we are now on the hunt for the largest market in the whole of Chittagong. For a minute, just a minute, with the lush green hills, the tranquility of the countryside, you might have forgotten that you're in Bangladesh. And then, bang, as soon as you come back into the city centre, you enter the chaos. We're currently in the market area and while being out here, my trainers have got absolutely destroyed. So we're on the hunt for a new pair of trainers. Being that, oh my gosh, being that, you can't think, you can't think and speak out here. It's so difficult. Being that it is the biggest port, a lot of items that are meant to end up at the ports end up at these markets. So I think it should be a good place to get some trainers. Salam alaikum. Okay, Manacha? Alhamdulillah. Ah, I like your trainers. I like your trainers. I think I like these ones. You have lots of pairs. These are nice. They're good, right? They're really nice. Do you have these in my size? How much? Uh, you pay nine. <laughs> Sa size nine. Yeah, nine. What? 43 size. Is that 43? Yeah. 44, 40. I have no idea. Let me, I need 40. to check. Let me check online. I don't know what size I am. And like anywhere, we, we have a crowd. Everyone is trying to help me buy my trainers. How are we? Salam alaikum. Came on at Balo, balo, balo. Everyone is very friendly. 43 is my size. These are 44. I think 44 is better. Bigger size. Bigger size. 44 is good also. Do you have 44? 44 more. How much? Kototaka? 
much? How much? How much? Good price, local price. Local price. You know what? It's never a good idea when they have to think about the price. How much should I pay? How much should he pay? Faisal, how much? He said 1700. 1700? This is a lot. That is crazy price. She with the love. What is local price? Local price. Solar shop. He said sixteen. Uh, fixed price. Okay, no worries. I will do one thousand. One thousand? That's fine. We'll find another one. One thousand two hundred. Okay. okay. Never mind. We try again. We move on to the next one. Salam alaikum. Do you have this one? This in forty-three. Fix one thousand. No, 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 no. It's okay. I will not do then. It's fine. I will leave because I know the price. But I need my size. It's up to you. I will do 1,000. 1,000? No? No. Okay, you charge more. It's okay. No worries. Faisal explained there'd be 800 for a Bangladeshi. So I don't mind paying like 1,000, 1,200. But I'm not paying double the price. It's just pointless because this isn't an area that gets a lot of tourists. So I don't really understand the double doubling in price. So, hello, how are you? I don't know. It's been a pleasure. Can you take your hand? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you too. Thank, Thank you, for you for showing us your city. Yes, showing us Chittagong. Next time we will get on the roof of the train. <laughs> for sure. Mention my YouTube channel. Yes. There we go. You mention it. What is your YouTube? Diva One Travel. There we go. There we go. Thank you so much. We're going to get on. I didn't get my trainers in the end. Oh. Well, Faisal was a legend. Faisal basically wanted you to do everything in Chittagong that you probably shouldn't do as a tourist. But we got there. We got in to one of the ship breaking yards. The police are trying to get past us. This is chaos, um, which was so cool to see and to see one of them giant oil balls. We didn't get on top of the train. So that is now my task for the rest of Bangladesh to get up on top of the train. And then the markets were a little bit silly. Faisal said, don't pay it. He said, it makes no sense that you would pay double the price when you can get them for 800 taka. But we are now back in a cycle rickshaw. Our first cycle rickshaw in Chittagong, trying to get back to the hotel. I'm not actually sure if we're going to have time to make or get out and explore Chittagong anymore. So this might actually be it. So if it is, we will see you in the next one on the road. A new destination in Bangladesh. What a country.